Hi, my name is Philip, and I'm going to tell you today about how we can use mixedmodelsim.jl and mixedmodels.jl to quickly simulate uh, data sets to do a full power analysis using mixed effects models for a fully crossed uh, design or even a partially crossed design. So up front, we're going to specify that it's a two by two by two design. Um, we have age and frequency and context. Um, age will manip be manipulated between participants. Uh, frequency will be manipulated between items. And then context will be manipulated within both participants and items. This makes us a partially cross design. And then uh, we're going to say we have 40 participants and 40 items. And uh, then we call this simdat cro uh, cross function with the appropriate random number generator. And we get a, uh, a design that matches our specification. And we have our dependent variable uh, already filled with a standard normal distribution. Um, so basically just uh, noise. Uh, and this is actually really convenient because this allows us to go ahead and fit models to this data so we can make sure that we're able to specify things correctly. So um, with this one little call, we've actually already simulated our basic data set. Um, and so now we can move on. And so first thing we do is we fit a model to this. So we specify our contrast coding. It's very important um, that we specify contrast coding and this is our formula. And then we fit a mixed model to this. As you can see, there are no effects. It makes sense. It's just a noise that we did. Um, but now we can specify, for example, uh, the structure of our random effects, um, which is kind of a big hot topic. So we can specify the correlation of the random effects and then the relative variance explained by each random effect. And then um, we can assemble our random effects and put in the model and make sure we can recover them. And that was uh, five lines of code. And uh, now we have um, our random effects. And we add in the fixed effects and we simulate a single data set and we see that we are indeed able to recover um, our a priori coefficients. And uh, we can use that then to simulate a lot of data sets relatively quickly. We can do a hundred uh, repetitions in just 20 seconds. We can do a thousand uh, in just a few minutes. Um, and so we can do a power analysis and we can see that we have um, a good power analysis. Um, we can uh, adjust these things and play with it. The speed makes it so that we can really adjust different parameters, play with our effect sizes, our noise levels, and see what impacts that has on our power and really explore how that does. There's all sorts of fun stuff you can do that is made possible by the speed which you can do it. It's not instantaneous, but it's still very fast and much faster than all of our competitors. competitors. Um, here at the end, I'd like to say that um, this work was supported by the Center for Interdisciplinary, Interdisciplinary Research in Bielefeld. Um, Douglas Bates and Lisa DeBrun um, have contributed substantially to this package and Reinhold Kluge has provided invaluable feedback. Um, I'm happy to have, discuss any questions you may have. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.